Hey everybody, Beyond Your TV here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to Thornton Zoo, our uh, franchise mode zoo in Planet Zoo's beta here. And it's our daily reminder that the beta is coming to a close soon. It is now Saturday, the 5th of October. Um, and uh, yeah, the beta closes in three days. It's well, it's really, it's nighttime for me, so it's basically two days because I'm pretty wrapped up playing Planet, uh, Planet Beta. I, almost, I literally almost called it Planet Beta. Sure, I almost, because <laughs> I just wrapped up playing Planet Beta for the day. Um, oh, hi, kitty. Bruce, you want to say hi? I don't know if anyone heard my uh, cat there, but he wanted to say hi. My IRL animal wanted to say hi. There he is. So, but anyways, what are we doing today? We are um, in our savanna area. <clears throat> if you remember from last uh, time, we were doing our African lion uh, section there. And um, I didn't actually throw up the um, the concept art, but um, I was going off concept art uh, for the uh, lion exhibit, and I'll try and remember to do it here. Um, but if you look at the concept art that I was going off of for that um, habitat, um, in the lower left-hand corner, there was like, um, I think it was like a giraffe or a hippo, or there was some other um, enclosure there. And I really like that idea that, um, you know, they were all uh, kind of interconnected like that. So, um, long story short, I built a an original savanna that is not this one um, on my uh, live stream on Mixer. And um, after I had gotten done with it and I uh, had been looking at it, I was just not really liking it. It was it was a lot. It was really small. It was very very small. It was okay for the game standards for like the animal welfare standards, but um, as you can see, we put in the four x four Jeep ride here and. Um, Kind of once I decided and landed on that I wanted to do like a drive through um, Savannah where you can order you know a zebra no not that kind of drive through but like a ride a ride along one with the with the Jeep wow that was my dad joke for the day um, <laughs> um, that uh, yeah it was it was way too small so basically I just uh, deleted the whole thing and uh, what you see here is uh, what it kind of turned into and even here you can kind of see I've had I had to back it up um, a little bit more because I was just kind of looking at the um, the the layout here and it just it, it was it was a really quick little ride there and um, I just it didn't really seem worth it so just kind of had to keep on expanding there um, and even now I'm really not that satisfied with it and if we had you know if this was the full release and we actually had um, all the time in the world I would probably go back and redo it again um, the general idea is there but the um, execution is not um, pretty much you know I like right here what you see I wanted I absolutely 100% wanted to get a bridge over um, um, the uh, the habitat there um, I thought that'd be really really cool um, but you know with that I didn't think ahead to the fact that um, I can't get giraffes over there we put you know giraffes zebras ostriches you know it's a huge savanna um, habitat a lot of uh, a lot of different animals coexisting together right um, but you know I didn't for um, <clears throat> excuse me I didn't foresee that the giraffes would be able to you know walk underneath that um, tunnel right there um, so yeah they can't go over there and um, yeah there's a lot of a lot of little things that you know I, I didn't foresee I didn't think about um, uh, until it was kind of in in works in action there and um, if you're wondering why the uh, the uh, habitat is divided, um, I meant I think I mentioned it in the last um, episode there, but um, uh, that's going to be elephants on one side, and on the other side is going to be savanna. So the elephants can um, coexist and cohabit with um, like the giraffes and ostriches. You can look on your Zoopedia, and it will um, tell you all of that kind of fun stuff there. If you're not looking at your Zoopedia um, when you're building your habitats and exhibits, you're you're doing it um, you're doing it the wrong way. <laughs> but no, for real though, it does, uh, there, on all those tabs, um, it tells you a bunch of really great information um, about what animals, uh, like certain animals can coexist with, you know, how big their exhibit needs to be, if they need water, yada yada. So anyways, um, uh, elephants and um, other animals can, like African uh, savanna animals can live together, but I chose not to, because you usually see in um, zoos um, that they, they're usually by themselves, you find the elephants, um, at least from what I've uh, seen. I'm sure there are uh, zoos around the world that have, um, you know, elephants elephants co-mingling with other um, animals and stuff like that but for this zoo we did them by themselves and I had a lot bigger vision in my mind than what you're gonna see me uh, kind of pull off right here this whole savanna area um, if there's gonna be my one I guess wish I had another day or something um, with the beta it's definitely gonna be um, for um, for this area here, definitely. I wish I had just had another day, another uh, whatever, just for an inspiration, because it, it turned out pretty well, but 
it, it could have been a lot better. Definitely could have been a lot better. So what do we have? Oh yeah, that's right. I wanted to uh, mention, you can see it off to the right hand side of the screen here. Oh, look, hey, there's all of our uh, animals coming out. Anyways, you can see on the right hand of the screen here where the track kind of exits out of the uh, the uh, gate area there. Um, I wanted to play around with um, the, uh, the 4x4 track interacting with the main pathway and um, kind of get some really cool views from the main path um, as you're just exiting out of the uh, primate house building. Um, this is our hard shelter by the way for all of our animals and I think later on I'm gonna to touch on this I think this messes us up later because um, I yeah we'll, we'll talk about that in just a bit um, but anyways yeah I wanted to have um, the uh, the pathway kind of interacting with the 4x4 track even though it's not in the wild Africa section to kind of just be like when you're on the main path you can see little bits of it here and there so um, we'll get we'll kind of take a look at that later but um, anyways what I was kind of mentioning before um, I think it was a combination of like the hard shelter and then the the 4x4 path right here and here we are starting to decorate up that uh, that kind of ridge line there. Um, but so what happened is uh, we're, everything is fine during the recording. You're not going to see anything that I'm talking about on the recording here. Um, it mainly came up when I just kind of wrapped up playing um, here. Um, a lot of my animals started passing away from dehydrating and uh, starving and I didn't have that problem at all. And I, I probably built what I, you're seeing on screen here maybe eight, nine, ten hours ago. <laughs> I've been kind of doing a marathon at Planet Zoo uh, today. It's Saturday, so kind of playing all day. Animals were fine for, you know, all that time. A whole, whole long time. And then all of a sudden, they, they weren't able to walk to the lake anymore. They kept saying they couldn't cross the tracks. Um, and uh, so then I started putting uh, food dishes and water dishes before the tracks. Like, you know, bummer. Guests aren't going to be able to see them unless they ride the 4x4. Um, but whatever. That's fine. And, but they still just wouldn't do it. And I think I've seen that this is a bug um, where basically the animals just don't eat anymore or drink anymore despite having you know full things so i think i've been hit by that bug and which really sucks because my conservation points i kind of spent a lot to almost all of them literally just about all of them i was saved by the 300 uh franchise points or whatever conservation points that you get when you click on the franchise tab um but yeah, I spent a whole bunch of points on that, only to have both of my giraffes, which were both a male and a female, um, at, at a young, I got them both at a young age too, with good genes. They both died from starvation. So there's a, there's like, I don't know, 900 leaves down the drain, basically, literally down the drain, basically. Um, and yeah, I think my uh, my antelope as well. I lost my male alpha antelope. And so now I just have two um, two females, which, you know, cool. Like, people are going to come see them, and, you know, they're there. Um, but uh, I don't have an alpha male, and they, I couldn't afford one on the uh, market now. And that's literally just because of, like, a bug or a glitch that I'm just out, you know, hundreds to almost, like, just over a thousand leaf points. So, you know, yada yada, it is what it is. It, it's a beta, you know, things happen, I get that. It's just, it's a little disheartening when, you know, it's... Uh, there's no rhyme or reason to it, right? Because this whole thing originated with, you know, we were going well for 10 plus years and then all of a sudden the animals decided to just stop eating and stop uh, stop drinking and stuff. So, but again, beta's gonna beta, right? To, to quote Jaunty there, beta's gonna beta. So, <laughs> but, um, but yeah, so here we are just uh, kind of decorating up um, this little front area in front of our, um, our 4x4 station, which we're also gonna be decorating that up as well in just a minute or two there, I believe, or some some point in the video, we definitely get there. Um, but yeah, this could be a very simple uh, little little food shack there, um, mainly out of necessity and forgetfulness. <laughs> this whole um, we're still up in this what you know wild Africa section with the uh, the tortoises, the lions, now the savannah and the um, elephants. Um, and I kind of just forgot to put the basic necessity. I put a, I I put a toilet as one of the first things. <clears throat> Excuse me. And in my mind, I was done. That was it. We were all good. <laughs> but uh, so yeah, the guests were rapidly complaining about not having. Having dr it's, it's always drink. It's always drink. They uh, they never complain about food. It's always just uh, they want uh, drinks. So finally, just put this little shack up there. Um, I was really wanting to. Uh, this whole area was really just screaming for the um, the African set that we don't have yet. I think we have like parts of the like a modern African set in the New World set. Like here, you see these little tribal. Um, whatever is here trim um you know those are those are really neat i like those a lot um but we've seen concept art or not even concept art we just seen actually game uh, gameplay footage of the like 
I don't, I guess old world, um, like African set, you know, with like tiki huts and just all that kind of stuff. And, um, yeah, I just, this whole section, I really, really wanted that, um, that stuff there. I really wanted to put a bunch of little huts around and, um, just maybe have like a little village and stuff like that. Um, uh, a lot of the concept art again that I was looking at, um, it, it, uh, it was kind of resembling that kind of area. So, you know, we had the trees, we had the rocks, we had the full, everything, you know, the rides, the animals, we just didn't have the actual like scenery set to fully pull that um, that off there and uh, you're gonna see when I'm designing the station especially here I again I really <laughs> I really wanted that old world um, Africa like uh, building set here but we kind of make it a, um, a more modern um, Africa uh, set which the, the whole area is kind of like that the whole area if you know we're looking at it from a, it was like a real zoo or something like that it probably would have gone under like a, a rehabilitation a rehab a little bit and maybe they would have gone with this more, I don't know, sleek, modern, whatever you want to call it, um, uh, kind of, kind of look there for it. So, um, but yeah, here we are, I'm kind of gussing up that ridge line again, uh, as I was mentioning earlier, and um, putting in this little cave system, and just, uh, that's pretty much all we do to gussy it up. Um, but the foliage and just rock work in this game are just so nice looking that, you know, just putting down a, f um, you know, a few of these rocks here, and a, a little bit of the foliage, and, and again, I'm, uh, to make sure that this all looks correct uh, for the area that it's in, um, which, you know, we're in the African section, um, you, you go in your filter there, and you know, you can go in your biome, and um, select Selected by grassland, whatever, desert, so we have that and then we have Africa selected, so it's all the correct plants that um, go up in this area, but no, again, just the, the rocks and the um, the plants and stuff like that, like, um, just the game looks so um, so good that you can just use, you know, I think I use one to three rocks maybe, maybe four different um, types of rocks, just keep hitting Z and spinning them and rotating them different ways and, you know, a handful of um, uh, plants there and it just, it really makes it pop, so, um, but then when, once we put the uh, building in in the background, which is see here in just a minute or two that's when it really the whole area is really really ties together there so um but uh but yeah no that's uh that's pretty much um what we did today for um this episode you know we got that whole savannah area built up we have a car ride or the the um, 4x4 ride going through it got the station building for that got a quick service area in got the elephant um uh, habitat in so um honestly though we wrapped up the uh the wild africa section um so we have that wrapped up we have the greenhouse wrapped up with our p fowls in it um, we have our primate house wrapped up with um, what used to be our lemurs but unfortunately they have passed away and they passed away without making any um, babies even though their fertility was up uh, past 50 percent so i think that was because of the patch that just happened um, to kind of quote unquote fix breeding um, rates a little bit more um, but yeah that was sad our lemurs finally um, the last one passed or the last female passed away and there were two males um, so they just kind of passed away as you know bromos i guess i don't know <laughs> they were just bros till the end um so yeah and then we have our mandrels in there as well with the primate house so yeah we have a lot of sections complete and i've actually already completed and i'm uh, gonna get ready to record that episode right after this one um another new section that um, we were talking about before the north american section um i started work on that um actually just a few minutes ago so but hey we are rapidly approaching the end of the video there so this is your first time hanging out be sure to hit the subscribe button stay up to date with all the planet zoo and fun stuff going on and also don't forget the like button as well it helps out the channel helps out the video and i appreciate it so much thanks so much everyone i appreciate it until the next episode of thornton zoo stay wild yes i haven't thrown that one in a while i did it stay wild woohoo <laughs> bye everyone